Hi, fifth grade. This is Mrs. Ickes. I just wanted to check in and make sure everybody's doing well, staying safe. Please make sure you are reading every day and building your stamina, trying to accomplish your lessons, get those done, enjoying the time with your family. Stay safe, and I hope to hear from you soon through email. You can contact me anytime. Take care of yourself. Hey, everybody. How we doing again? Good to see you. And I just want to let you know that you're all kicking butt. Great job. Uh, so I'm, basically, this is your last lesson for the week in ELA. Uh, and hopefully that makes you happy before the weekend. You can chill out and enjoy the weekend. Uh, get some fresh air and whatnot. Okay, but what I'm going to do is review the things that we've talked about all week long. Uh, and then I'm going to kind of give you what the, give you the assignment that we're going to have you do. And then you can, you can finish up strong and, uh, go back to having a great weekend. Okay. So first of all, for the beginning part of the week and for most of the week, we talked about finding theme. Okay. And then after that, we talked about adverbs. So let's kind of recap a couple of the, uh, items that we talked about here. So if you remember back to theme, the definition was it's a message that the reader takes away from a story. Uh, it's it's what the writer is trying to say to us about life. I know we've talked about that a good bit, okay? Uh, and again, we, we talked about how there were several, often several themes in every story. And we also, if you remember, we talked a lot about characters and their actions and, and how they show the theme in a story. Uh, so that was, that was kind of what we hit a good bit. And we also talked a little bit about some things called universal themes. So the next slide that's about to pop up here is called it gives us a, a few examples of universal themes that, that are all over the place. So one of them could be kids grow up fast in times of trouble. That might be you right now. Even ordinary people or minor characters can affect events. Uh, ordinary people can be capable of great courage. When people band together, they can build power to change. Where there is power, there is also resistance. That's a good Star Wars one there. And humans are capable of great evil to each other and great goodness. So those are some themes that, uh, you know, we can see throughout history and then we can see in a lot of the things that uh, we watch and read. Uh, then after we talked about theme all week long, we started talking about adverbs. So if you remember, this was your uh, list of some examples of adverbs. And we also included in resources a, a huge list of different adverbs that you can use. Um but as you can see on this chart, this gives you some examples of, of just how many adverbs are used, right? They answer some questions like how. How is something done? Okay, because we remember that an adverb, uh, much like an adjective describes nouns, it describes verbs uh, as, well with, as well as some other words uh, like even other adverbs. Okay, so we're going to take theme and work a little bit with adverbs as well. So basically today, all we're going to ask you to do, and this really shouldn't take you that long because as fifth graders, I know you've, you've all been writing a good bit. You've been writing way more than what we're going to ask you to do today, but we have a small writing assignment for you. And that writing assignment is we want you to take anything you've read. Okay. It could be something that uh, you remember a good theme from during class. Uh, like some people have read, read the book Thief of Always. Uh, there's other books I know that have great themes that we've read in, in groups, uh, and, and that you've read during your, your workshop time, uh, like Tuck Everlasting or, or, uh, you know, Wonder, we talked about Wonder. Uh, so any book that you have read and you, you really think you have a good grasp on, we want you to write a paragraph, one paragraph only. Uh, and, and tell us about what that theme is and tell us how the author showed you that theme throughout the book. Okay, and that's your assignment. Now, to add adverbs in, we would like you to use several adverbs while you write this. So we have the directions posted for your writing assignment. Uh, just follow them and uh, do the best you can, and then we'll see you next week. Bye, gang. Oh, by the way, uh, just because it's the weekend doesn't mean you have to stop reading, right? You can keep on reading and 
logging all that time in and keep your mind sharp, gang. Keep them real sharp. Okay, now I seriously am out this time. I've got laundry to do or something probably. Bye.